For day one of oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, I had a great few hours sleep and Callum's just been having a nice news this morning. Oh jeez Louise. I woke up about five minutes ago. Riz uh, <laughs> thought I was playing it cool, but I slept in my alarm. Yeah, I left him napping. I was like eating my breakfast, like, geez, he's, he's very confident we can get here in time. Um, speaking of that. We haven't even got time to have our coffee. We are getting ready to go. The big announcement's kicking off at eight. So yeah, let's see it. Right, it looks like I'm heading off site with the RX crew and Gillies and Rizzo is staying in the Aventi I'm gonna be filming all the other divisions. Um, don't know where we're going, but it feels like we're gonna be going for a trip to a mountain somewhere. So I don't know the, ge the geography of this area, but Gillies gave me the hints that none of them will be able to run it. Um, he's saying there's big tree trunks and huge inclines. Um, so it's gonna be quite a hike. And I've been hearing the rumors floating around that they're gonna be carrying a sandbag. So it sounds like it's gonna be rather disgusting. Right, I'll see you there though. Okay, quick update, RX athletes are gone. And these buses behind me, Scaled is about to kick off for event one, and I'm running around like a headless chicken sweaty, so I haven't even filmed yet. Where are we going? <laughs> We're going to Mount Porongia, which is one of the larger mountains hills in the region. Um, up to the car park, we'll set up and give these guys a chance to warm up, uh, and then they're going to run from the car park up to the trick uh, as fast as they can. Mass start. Um, yeah. And we've, fun. we have a big trailer behind us. What's, <laughs> yes. what's in the trailer? Uh, so we've got um, some sandbags. The sandbags they used to use to like. Um, World War One kind of sandbags that you fill with dirt and make like um, gun singers and stuff for. Um, so relatively raw, um, should be fun. They're relatively, they're not the best sandbags, so you get a bit of dirt in the face and you gotta be relatively careful with them. But it should be cool. So have you tested this yourself? Do you know how long it's gonna take the athletes? Uh, so we did it um, about three months ago and it took 37 minutes walking it. And then we did it again the other night and we got about um, two thirds of the way up. Um, and it took us about 30 minutes, so it's with, a lot drier now than it was. With, with the sandbags? Um, no, the first time we did it, I just had a heavy backpack, um, so I didn't have the sandbags in. And then the other day when we walked it and we were just cruising, we just did it with nothing. Have you been doing any running, mate? Heaps. I've been doing heaps of running. Oh, so you're good to go. Yeah, I'm ready for this. What are you thinking you got to do? I'll be like... Three muscle ups and then, <laughs> and then like four mile run up the hill maybe? I don't know. I, I, I haven't even been here so I don't even know. Girls ready for this? Yep. Yeah. What are you thinking it is? Nice big forest run. Yeah? Big fan. N nothing in that trailer over there? Oh, so we'll have to carry Probably. something. Probably. Yeah, looks like horses. <laughs> <laughs> We're like horse tracks. Looks like horses. <laughs> So we're just at the start of the hill run from the look of it. Gillies has just opened up the trailer and they've got some sandbags. Um, he's told me that the guys have got 22 kilo sandbags and the girls have got 12 kilo sandbags. Um, what are you thinking Bailey? Oh, I did this at pound for pound in 2017 except it was like 
I think it was like 20% of your body weight. Yeah. So this is... It's, this is probably about 50% of your body weight now, is it? Yeah, so I'm going to be like... <laughs> So it's a little bit of a game changer. Um, I think it's turned from a run into a bit of a walk slash hike. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, be good. <laughs> He's always got to try getting in here, doesn't he? You back yourself as a bit of a runner? No, definitely not. No. So you'll be happy with you'll be happy with the walk slash hike with the heavy bag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Should be fun though. What about you, Kevin? You like the look at this? I mean, it's better than doing the push up, pull up one that the other guys are doing in the stadium. I don't like that. Hurts. So, let's go for a little run, that's all. A little, a little stroll up the hill. Walk by the sounds of it. Yeah, we're saying we're going to walk up the hill, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah. It suits me better than a run, so... <laughs> yeah. Get those long legs out, mate, you'll be yeah, fine. Mate, just big strides. What, is there a bit of sibling rivalry leading into this weekend? Nah. nah. We both know who's like better at what, so yeah. we just like stay out of the You're way. Just waiting, <laughs> yeah. waiting to see what workouts yeah, are coming exactly. out. Yeah. <laughs> we don't say anything. We're like, oh, you'll be good at that one. You'll be good at that one. So we just. Come. So who's who's the money on for the run then? Slash Ooh. the hike. We're gonna run together. We're gonna plan, plan, kind so. of work together. So <laughs> might as well share the load. Use it. Yeah. So ten minutes she takes both. <laughs> and then five minutes. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, and then I'm yeah. like later. Yeah. And then I'll wait at the top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quick update, morning is going well. Athletes have been pumping out events, heaps of heats, heaps of athletes. Um, Cal's, I don't really know where Callum is, so hopefully he's going well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have this and get back into it. So obviously you need to take the sandbag with you all the way to the top. There's a trig at the top where the finish line is, right? So you're gonna run four time as fast as you can to the top with your sandbag. Now you've got a one hour cap, right? Which is which time it will take me and Vash, who's the medic, to follow on behind. So if we pass you, I'd suggest you start going a little bit faster, okay? Bro. Oh, it was so good. Yeah? I was behind everyone starting and I slowly kept passing people. And I saw you were kind of sitting third, third most of the way and then you... And then the last run up the hill, okay. over to oh. Jack. Nice. Let's go. Good rest. Oh. How was that, man? You led from the beginning? Yeah, my cars are just burning. I'm fine. Lung-wise, it's just my car. Yeah, so what was, how would you describe that? Was it a walk? Was it a run? More of a walk. <laughs> yeah. But just a, a fast paced walk. <laughs> how about you? How was that? I'm, I always do this sort of shit, so <laughs> suited me well. Nice. <sighs> Did you end up coming second in that heat? Yeah. Main. Awesome. Nice work. <laughs> Females, do you alright? Well, I was planning to vlog up the hill, but it was a bit of a race trying to film the start of the heat and then catch Mans as well. So Mans took the heat and then there's a young fella, I'm not quite sure his name, he's been a climber in the leaderboard for the last couple of years in intermediate. Um, I think he trains out of the garage with his dad, who's a masters athlete, but he was sitting in third for most of the race and then he ended up sneaking up and passing Dean and uh, Jack on the way up, Jack Laker. So it was a good little finish at the end, um, clear victor victory for Marnes, but yeah, now to walk back down. <sighs> no? he has been climbing hills bro. I mean, fucking try not to lose. <laughs> those long pins, Kevy? They are burning, real bad. Oh my goodness, that last couple of hundred meters was hell. You were the boys at the start were doing the steps and the path down the side, what were you guys doing? Oh, I was mixing it up. Yeah? Steps inside. Was that just mentally oh, to I have a bit know. of a mix up? I got no idea, mate. 
That's what it was open at the time, eh? Yeah. I was trying to say to you, if we go side by side, no one's passing us. Yeah, bro. I was trying so to. I was like, let's just wow. cruise. Just keep moving. Just trying to leave people past me. So you're trying to block as much of the track as possible, were you? No, I can't do that. I'm pretty small. <laughs> <laughs> Back lit up. Was that right at the start, was it? Uh, yeah, halfway. Just oh. Right, on three, fuck gillies. One, two, three. Fuck gillies. Right, I'm back from the mountain. Riz has been slaving away. I think he's actually been working a little bit harder than me, even though I had to run up the hill. How have you been, Riz? Good, bro. Uh, the first couple of, first three events actually just just ticked over now. We're um, for, uh, just pretty hectic. Lots of lots of um, categories, lots of athletes. Uh, figuring out the lighting, what it's like on the floor, taking a few stills. Um, Editing a little bit, it's been good. Awesome yeah. morning, I need to drink some water. Yeah, just and it's energy drinks and protein bars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's really hot out there. They've got to keep the velodrome at a particular temperature because the wood that's around that the bikers go on is worth $40 million. And apparently if it goes off by one or two degrees, it can actually warp the wood. Um, so it gets very, very hot. And we've got our crispy dude pants on, which are like, the, beanies the, for the <laughs> the Gucci Gucci. No, no, what we call the moist makers. Right? They just friggin' light it up. Um, quickly showing the setup here. Yeah, so well. this is the, this is the, uh, the slave dungeon. Yeah. yeah, and then we've got the view out there as well. So it's That's nice. And then we got our two two besties over there working hard. Oh. Four minutes left, thinking it was a 12 minute AMRAP. And then I was like, oh shit, 16! You were the only one to get off the rower first. Was that a bit of a game plan to go out the gates hot? Ah, uh, it just shows me that the rest of the field are pussies. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd send it and give it, give it a nudge and try to hold on. And Jack was there pushing me, so I was lucky to have that there. All right. Back to back event wins. Proud of you. How was that one? Yeah, that was awful. Because you um, full send the rows, so your grip is so tired. And the next workout, the 16, my t-shirt! <laughs> <laughs> the 16 minute AMRAP was just all grip as well. Yeah. Holding on to those 22.5 dual dumbbells. So. I was actually, yeah, I was happy with I just slowed it right down because I was ahead mm. by quite a little bit. So I just slowed it all the way down. Because um, otherwise my grip would have fried out. Did you feel your legs from the, the run? No, not at all. Sweet. How was that, Jack? Oh, it's very grippy. So you boys are using the uh, the elevator? Yeah, so I have the decision right there. You won't see me uh, use stairs, that's yeah. for sure. No, not at all. Then you have this. Did anyone go sub three away on that second one? One person on the second one. Ah, just, just the two of you. Oh, who was it? Uh, Tobias? Tobias, yeah. 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 How'd you go in that one? Where'd you place in that uh, heat? I was right, it's probably like sort of top of the pack, yeah. top middle pack. Um, I broke it up from the start. I broke it up into 5 4 and 4 3 from the start. And it definitely paid off. Yeah. Just stuck that pace for the whole time. Uh, my little weedy forearms can't hold on to them. <laughs> it looked like you and Bailey were in a bit of a race at the start, is that? Yeah, it was like a couple reps the whole time. And I sort of just stuck behind him and he just. Through oh, Dave has not left that table all day. It's good. Nice to, nice to be with the RX after a huge day of not filming him, but um, good. Good. Good to see Luke come away with it. Good to see Marnie come away with it. Good on her. I didn't see Luke. Was he cleaning up in that or? 
very close. Uh, who was the very who close. was close to him? Bailey. Oh right. A few reps away, yeah. A little and monster. And eh? the last like twenty seconds, he was just like, looks like looking like, do I need to pick up this dumbbell and just do one rep? Because he's like, I'll just keep just ahead of him. Like, <laughs> what's good? <laughs> Christy boy, we're proud of you, mate. You're uh, you're performing rather well. I think he'll be he'll be top three-ish for that. I think. Oh, no, I mean like overall, he'll be sitting top three. Actually, I think he could be sitting in first. So, crispy boy, sponsorship could be coming your way, mate. Mate. How, how was that? What happened? Arms are blowing out to the max. I put this like, oh, you know, and you like want to finish and you, I had that next thing to go and I thought I was, uh, I thought I was done basically. So do you think you pushed the pace a little bit too much or you were happy with how you were going? I was happy with how I was going, I just didn't, just didn't execute the last walk. Yeah. Which is annoying but. Because I heard someone call out, go to the concrete and that was kind of, Oh, when well, you, even though everybody knew before I got there, yeah. he already knew, but oh, yeah. it is what it is. Move it's gonna move on. Yeah. That was a that was a hard one to watch. I was trying to get content and then also support the little crispy boy Bailey Martin. Um, he tumbled just at the end before uh, the line, literally two three meters from finishing it, um, and I think he lost. I think he lost one spot to Kevy. So it's not drastic, but. You can just tell that it, it's hit him hard because he did have the leader's jersey on. And I think I've got a feeling one of the Fowler boys are going to take it from him now, but still super proud of him. He's got his head high, so looking forward to the next one. Just imagine the cones of the rig. Right, so the boys, you guys are going to start on this side as you have been most for this morning. Is that, are you following? Oh. Dave's having a mini orgasm over the pizza. <laughs> 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 I don't want to admit it. Mine yeah. needs to change my shorts. He, he right. was moaning like that last night in his dreams, too. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Pizza's going down the tree. Um, we have the Saturday Night Lights going off very, very soon. The RX is going to be throwing down some big weights. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit of editing, eat this, and then we are on. Um, yeah, that was a good workout. Mans and Mads were going head to head. It looked like they were actually practicing for a regional team workout. They were going synchro muscle ups for the first three or four rounds. Um, and then Mad slowly pulled away and I think she she won the event, eh? Hmm. Yeah, she won the event, um, which is really, really impressive. I think there was three or four other girls that finished it and I think Man's finished it right on the buzzer. Did, yeah. Did you guys give it to her? I don't know. I don't know the, don't know the actual, the, the scoring ladies in the background probably know better than us, but um, epic event. Um, yeah, it was really just about who could go unbroken and hang on and manage the rest periods to kind of go be able to go unbroken. Um, strategies were... Some of the some of the lads were really taking a bit of rest time there just to make sure that they they nailed it. Um, and as you mentioned about Bailey, stressful. Mm. I could see it in his eyes when he was like mm. watching other people pass him, go over the line. It must have been stressful. Um, but we're still uh, supporting you, mate. Yeah, one more event to go. Saturday Night Lights. Sounds like it's going to be a bit of a spectacle. Woo. Bloody excited. Saturday Night Lights. Clean and dirty matter.
one see anyone. Day one done in the box. Just finished right. up Saturday oh. Night Lights. We're here with Bailey. Uh, how'd yeah. you go, mate? Not good. <laughs> but we'll say, I, I smashed the 150. You did? Nailed it. It was easy, bro. Tap and go, three reps. I've got a good highlight of that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be fair, though, you've had this on most of the day. How's it felt? Oh, it stinks. Ooh. It stinks. It stinks. <laughs> day one, done over and in, uh, done and dusted. Um, it was pretty. It was pretty fun. Like obviously Bailey got the shirt, which is a, a bit of a highlight. Yep. And then I think Man's had the shirt for most of the day, and I, I think Mads has got her by one point now. Um, so Mads has got the white shirt on tomorrow morning, and there's a swim event. So I think the Palmers will perform pretty well. They're both kind of brought up in the pool. Um, I think one of them was a New Zealand swimmer. So see them climbing the leaderboard, and yeah, we've got a big night of editing ahead of us. So we'll get into it before we uh, get too weird. Oh my God.